So in terms of the sites for doing the biopsies, uh, a lot depends on both your specialty as well as the reason for doing the biopsy. The most common reason for doing a biopsy is because we're concerned that a patient has a widespread neuropathy. When we do those biopsies, we really want to do one site that's distal and one site that's proximal. The reason for that is that some neuropathies are worse distally in the feet and some neuropathies can be worse proximally up in the leg. So in an ideal situation, we do one biopsy around the calf, um, right around about 10 centimeters above the medial malleolus. Uh, we do one biopsy around the distal thigh, uh, just above the knee, and we do one biopsy around the proximal thigh, just below the ischial tuberosity. That gives us the best sense of the distal to proximal gradient. In podiatrist hands who are doing the biopsies, some of them are restricted to working only below the knee or just below the knee. And in those cases, it actually is sufficient to be able to do one site uh, around the medial malleolus and then one site distal to the knee, because we still get a sense of is there a distal to proximal gradient. If the symptoms are truly very, very distal and the patient only has the symptoms in their feet, um, we'll also include a biopsy over the extensor digitorum brevis muscle, uh, which will allow us to look at the nerves in the foot themselves. We don't like to do biopsies on the sole of the feet uh, because of the concern for wound healing, and in bad diabetic patients, we try to avoid that in particular.